Patricia Love from Love Healing Hearts. Do you see now why we have to give our hearts to the Lord? Do you understand what the Bible means when it says, when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction? We don't know from one minute to the next when our lives will come to an end. These people were out supposedly having a good time. Some were at a game, at the soccer game. Some were at a cafe looking out the window. You have no idea. I have no idea when my last day on this earth will come. You have to be ready. You, your soul has to be ready. You can't play tiddlywinks and assume that because you're young, you have plenty of decades ahead of you. Most of the people who died were young. They targeted people in their 20s. They were probably talking about the test they have to take on Monday or the final exam or the, or the job they have an interview with on Tuesday or what the service was going to be like on Saturday or Sunday. Who knew? Who knew that that was going to be their last day, that that was going to be the last time they drew their breath? That's why the Bible says, be always ready. You know, not the day nor the hour. Yes, that refers to the rapture and the second coming of Jesus. But it also encompasses the fact that we don't know when our number's up. It's time to stop playing, you guys. I don't care if you have, don't believe in God. If you almost don't even believe that Jesus was legitimate or that he was a figment of somebody's imagination. There are enough people on YouTube. There are enough people on Facebook, in your families, in your lives that have experienced them firsthand. You can't experience what does not exist. So if I were you, it would behoove you to at least Say a prayer. Lord, let me be ready. Help me believe. Help thou my unbelief. Because I got a lot of unbelief. But I don't want to miss out. If all this is really real, then of course I want you. I want what's best. But I've been disillusioned by life. So it's hard for me to believe. Whatever your reason is for having so much doubt, I understand it because my prayer was almost like that. But when I was telling God that I wasn't sure I believed, I was still asking that I was asking him to forgive me for my sins. And I was accepting Jesus as my Lord and Savior, even though I was not convinced. And God in all his love and mercy and understanding accepted me on those meager terms. And my life has never been the same since. Now, you can say, oh yeah, right, all you do is Bible thump and go to church and put your little money in the bucket and all that. You know what? Let me tell you this. When I sit at home and my heart is hurting, supernatural God from all eternity comes to heal my heart and has done it countless times. When I was going through mourning with my husband, God ministered to me, not people, God. You can't experience something that does not exist. Listen, when I always wanted to know what real, real, Love was all about. God came to me in the middle of the driest, deadest prayer and revealed, manifested his love to me when all I saw in myself was a nobody. God came and revealed his love to me. I have never been the same since. 
when I gave my heart to the Lord three days later, yeah, I know it's kind of comical that the number is three, but three days later, I woke up and felt alive for the very first time in my whole life. Now, I'm convinced you may not be, but God did everything in the world to convince me after I gave my heart to him. Just do it. Just say the prayer, Lord, forgive me for my sins. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and help me, Lord, because I'm not even sure I believe all of what I said. Just be honest about it. That's what God touches. That's what God reaches out to, the honest heart. Not the ones that think they have it all together. You and me, the messed up ones that need a lot of help. Oh, he's more than willing. He's eager. He's, 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 uh, what's the word? Waiting with bated breath. Just for an invitation. That's why Jesus says, I stand at the door and knock. Let him in, you guys. There's nothing on this earth worth keeping him out for. Amen. God bless you.